This is a tutorial on how to add pictures and text to a PowerPoint presentation. The first thing that you're going to do after you write your title page is you're going to go to the page in which you want to add pictures to. From there, you're going to click Insert and go to the spot where it says Picture. I like to choose mine from File. I'm going to pick the picture that I want and I'm going to either click on it and press Insert or I can just double click on it and it automatically drops my picture onto the screen. From here the picture is too large so I'm going to drag it down to a corner that I can see and I'm going to make the picture smaller. I'm shrinking the picture so that it can fit onto one slide. As you can see here, now I can fit this picture. Next up, you can also insert pictures from the clip art file. This is the Microsoft Office file base of all art that they have in their system. Since I'm a math teacher, I'm going to search for something that has math in it. And I see that I get this picture here. I'm going to go ahead and insert this picture by clicking on it, and it drops into the screen. Once again, I want to shrink the picture to let it fit onto this particular slide. Now what you see is that the first picture is now behind the second picture. Say I wanted to make this picture come in front. I would right click on it, go down to order, and I've got four different options. I can bring it all the way to the front. I can send it all the way to the back, which it already is. I can bring it forward one step, or I can send it backward one step. So we'll just show that we can bring it forward. This helps because if this is the picture we want to kind of stand out a little bit further, we can send it to the front of the screen. The next thing to do, and actually an easier thing to do, would be to insert text. What you'll do is you go up to insert, go to text box, and drag an area, it doesn't really matter where, because you're going to end up filling up and you can change the box afterwards. So I can write that this is a test to see what a text box can do. In here I can do any of the features of any text box. I can change the font, change the size, make it bold, and a number of other options. Now, I can stretch this text box out, I can move it, I can shrink it, or I can rotate it by clicking and holding this here. So a text box is very, very, text box is very versatile in what you want to do. However, say you wanted to be a little bit more creative. You can come down here where it says this A right down here and click on Insert Word Art. I'm going to put this one here, and if you look, all the different styles that they have, you can end up changing these to fit your needs, but they have a pretty good template for you. So I'm going to click on this Word Art down here, and in the box here I'm going to write my name. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, and I'll change the font to this here. When I'm done, I'll press OK. Now what this is allowing me to do is to create a text box that already has a pre-designed element in it. It's got three shades, it's got a shadow, it's got a lot of good features to it, and I can do the same thing. I can rotate it. I can make it smaller. I can move it. It's really what I want to do with the text. Now, also down below is a shortcut for the text box. You can click here, drag yourself a text box. This is still the tutorial on inserting pictures and text. Notice the text box gets larger with you as you keep typing, so you don't need a predefined location. I hope this helps for helping explain how to add pictures and text to a PowerPoint presentation. Good luck.